Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL SQL developers. In this video, we are going to learn about what are all the advantages of packages in Oracle. I am just going to take you through the key points what you should remember from interview point of view. The very first point is, packages help us in logically group the subprograms in a single package. So it helps us to do the development and maintenance in much more effectively. So the very first point is the modular programming. It helps us to effectively group the logically related subprograms. The second point is packages help us to implement the code security through the implementation of private subprograms. These private subprograms are accessible only within the package body and it is not accessible anywhere from outside objects. The third point is from a performance point of view, the packages will be much better compared to the standalone procedures and function because the moment any component of a package, for instance, if you call a variable or a procedure or any function of a package, then the entire package will be loaded into the memory. So from that point, any subsequent call to the other objects within the same package doesn't have to keep reloading the package into the memory because the first time itself the entire package would be loaded into the memory so oracle doesn't have to reload it by that way this packaged objects will be comparatively performed better compared to the standalone procedures and function see these are the three key points you should remember from interview point of view apart from that there are few other advantages as well let me just take you through that one more advantage is Packages will be better uh, in terms of like uh, uh, in object invalidation. For instance, suppose if you are recompiling a procedure or a function, all the dependent objects related to the procedure and function will become invalid. Whereas in terms of package, if you recompile a package body, it will not make any dependent object as a invalid because all the other objects will refer to the package spec and package spec in turn will refer to the package body that is one more advantage there are few other features that can be implemented only within the package body these features we will not be able to implement in the standalone procedures or function for instance one such feature is like overloading of subprograms within package body we it is possible to overload the subprogram for example you will be able to create multiple procedures with same name within the package but as a standalone procedure it is not possible to create more than one procedure or more than one function with same name because a standalone procedure name should be unique whereas within the package body we can create more than one name with same name i mean more than one subprogram with same name but there is a, a key point that the argument should be the arguments data type should be different probably about the overloading of subprograms i'll cover with example in a separate video but just keep it in mind overloading of subprogram is possible only within the packaged object not in the standalone object the next feature that can be implemented only as part of a package is you can have your global variables you can create your variables and constant and can be globally across accessed across your application so by that way we can put all our common information in one package and we can access across the application. For example, you can define all your common exceptions, you can define all your common collections, you can define all your common cursors. All these things can be defined globally in one package specification. Then it can be accessed across your application. Then there is one concept called initialization block. Uh, this we will call it as like one time only procedure also. I have explained in detail about this global variable initialization block and the session state I'll, I'll share you the link at the end of this uh, video then one more advantage is within each package you can create a, a object with same name that means you can reuse the name of a procedure across your packages for example i have like uh, three packages one for hr department dev department within each package i can have a, a procedure called count of employees so whenever i call a respective count of employee procedure it will return the number of employees working in that department probably i can have one more common package which can uh, return the total number of employees that means the name of the procedures i can reuse across the packages it's not necessary that it has to be unique apart from overloading this is another advantage okay so these are the key points you should remember mainly from interview point of view see many of these points I have covered in separate videos let me just take you through the videos and the link i will share in the description 
in fact the private procedure i have covered it here probably you can just look into this video and when you are when you are learning about private procedure it is very much important to know what is a stored procedure what is a standalone procedure what is a packaged procedure what is a private procedure and what is a public procedure and what is one time only procedure in fact the one time only procedure we will call it as a initialization block also i have covered in this video and the session state i have covered as part of this uh, video like pragma serially reusable because this pragma controls the session state of the packaged variable okay if you want any other questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can just browse through the previously posted question as part of subscriber question or as part of the interview question if you are not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql concept videos and practical question and thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you